Hi there! My online username is Lagatha Scarlet. I am making this video as an online review for an Etsy shop that I really love called Wickedly Magical. So Wickedly Magical recently added something to their Etsy shop called Mystery Boxes. And the mystery boxes um, look like they're gonna be themed. So the first box that was added to the Etsy shop was a fairy magic themed um, mystery box. And I usually do like written reviews and posts instead of videos. However, I started getting super excited when I started unpacking this box and decided that I was going to do um, a video unboxing instead because um, I can be a little dry <laughs> when my write. So I really wanted to help convey some of my enthusiasm in a way um, that was just a little more expressive than the written word, I guess is the right way of saying it. So um, to start with, I got my mystery box. It was actually shipped in an envelope, which is totally fine, but I just thought I'd let you know that the mystery box is not necessarily going to be a like box with four sides and it might be an envelope instead. So the first thing I saw when I opened the envelope was this adorable little handwritten note um, that first off says super sweet things and as a thank you for being a customer and then on the other side says make sure you read the guidebook first. So the guidebook is this adorable little handmade booklet um, that is also handwritten by the shop owner. So in the guidebook, there is an explanation of all of the items that are gonna be inside of this mystery box. Um, any cares and cautions you need to take. And best of all, after every item description is a section where you can write your own notes about your experience with the item or things you want to remember about it. Now, I'm not going to spoil what is going to be in the box by reading the guidebook to you, but I do want to mention that the guidebook's in there and is awesomely helpful and is adorable and it looks like also has like um, little dyed pages. Um, too. So I just think that is a really incredible touch. All the pages are handwritten, which makes it feel super personal. And I'll tell you like one little sneak peek about an item in the box. I have not actually opened anything, but there was a whole section um, in here about one of the items and what to be careful about when you use it so it doesn't break and things like that, which is something that I really appreciate because you would think that common sense would kick in with something delicate and I would be like, oh, um, don't snap that or get overly excited with it. But you know, life happens. <laughs> so I really appreciate a warning, like AKA when unpacking, don't break your stuff. So on to the unboxing, um, but actually, before I do that, this guidebook is actually what got me so excited. And um, I was actually messaging the shop owner <laughs> through an Amina group I'm in called the Hatchling Clan um, about the box. And I just got so excited after I saw the guidebook that I was like, hold up, I gotta film this. And hopefully everyone in the whole planet is as excited about this product as I am. So. Also, just to note, the shop owner did not give me anything or anything like that, any incentive to do this. I just think it's super adorable. And it's really important to me that everyone I come into contact with understands that. So, on to the first item, which I actually hope you can see because um, I don't film videos very often, slash ever. So, um, hopefully this is visible to you or else my unboxing is gonna be really anticlimactic. Um, so, first item. Um, everything in the envelope is wrapped individually, which I kind of appreciate. Um, the envelope is padded, so the shop owner, even though it's not shipped in a box, um, I personally think padded envelopes might be more eco-friendly, um, but everything inside is individually wrapped anyway. I'm not sure if you can see this, but every item is also labeled with a number which corresponds to one of the items in the guidebook. So if for some reason the description in the guidebook just isn't doing it for you, or you can't identify something in the box, you know, you can just line it up with the number 
in the guidebook instead. So for the first thing, it looks like we have a handmade besom, which might not actually be how you pronounce that. I only ever see it written down. Um, this is, looks like it's made of um, natural twigs and wrapped with a plant. Um, I really like this as far as a fairy magic themed product because first off it's tiny and adorable and I know fairies aren't necessarily small but I like to imagine them as tiny and cute um, in my mind and it's made of totally natural things. It's wrapped with like a matching brown thread so that it all blends together. Um, so this is super cute. Um, I might be short on adjectives so you might hear the phrase super cute a lot. Um, this is actually item number five in the guidebook. And if I ever open anything and I can't identify it, you may catch me referring to the guidebook because even though I've already read it, I might not remember anything that's in it. And I will also theoretically include a link to her shop in this video. But since I've never actually made a video like this, I'm not 100% certain that's in my ability level. So if when this video is published, you don't see a snazzy little link pop up in the corner, then check the description or the post that this video is embedded in and I'll include all of the awesome links that you need there. Now, I forget exactly what she calls this in the guidebook, but it is um, a braided little decoration with crystal chips in it. These are made of natural plant vines. So this is the thing that I was telling you um, had the disclaimer that um, the longer that I have this, um, the vines will dry just a little bit more so that I just need to be careful with it um, when I'm using it or carrying it around or whatever, um, just to make sure that I don't snap or crack any of the pieces. Um, but there's several different little crystal pieces attached to it. Um, I believe the guidebook says that um, the little crystals might help attract fairies. Again, it's made in all natural things, um, which fairies are known to like as well. So that's pretty nifty. This item is like double wrapped and looks like it has pieces to it. Actually, just kidding. The shop owner's just super awesome and made sure that nothing would snap these leaves. Um, this is item number three, which I'm actually going to check in the guidebook to see what it's for because I don't, I don't know. So according to the guide, oh, that makes sense. According to the guidebook, this is um, an incense fan, a fairy incense fan. Um, which is used to spread um, the incense smoke, which I guess should have been self-explanatory since it looks just like a fan. Um, I actually really like this idea because um, the guidebook says you can use it to spread incense smoke and help evoke fairy energies um, and achieve some balance. I actually like the thought too, like if I was cleansing crystals using incense smoke, I honestly never thought about helping like fan the smoke to spread it across my crystals um, but I really like that idea and it might help like distribute the incense um, smoke and scent through the room that I use to practice in as well um, so this is a very themed um, incense fan Well, I'm not going to open this yet because it says it's a bonus item and I feel like bonus items should be saved for last. So I'm saving it. And in future videos, if I order more, um, which I'm sure I will because I believe that she's working on a dragon themed box. Um, so I will definitely purchase that when it's ready as well. But anyway, in future ones, I may figure out how to speed up the unboxing. Um, this, um, is a salt, um, scrub or bath salts. I'm actually going to double check. Um, no, I'm not. Cause I kind of like shredded the little thing. Oh, yes I can. 
it's item number two. So, item number two is um, a sample size of sweet fairy bath salts. Um, so I really think that um, this is a nice feature because she included the ingredient list on there, which I personally think is the best practices thing. People have tons of allergies, products they prefer not to use. Um, and from a magical perspective, it helps to know what the individual ingredients are because um, then you can help line up the correspondences to your magical intent. So these bath salts include um, Epsom salt, crushed rose petal, uh, vanilla essential oil, and watermelon essential oil, which like is not weird, but it's just kind of unexpected because I didn't know that existed. So now I'm going to like sniff it in front of you all. This smells really good and I find myself inclined to like point it towards you, but that's not going to help because you can't smell it. So um, I'm really excited about this. That smells really delicious. Okay, so this is actually item number one listed in the guidebook. And this, I'm gonna read the guidebook description because it looks like it's really specifically fairy themed. I believe it is a candle or a wax melt. All right, so according to the guidebook, this is a fairy tart candle. Um, she also, in the guidebook, lists the in exact ingredients of the candle as well. So I think from um, a merchandising perspective, like I just said, this is fantastic. A lot of people don't do that with candles. Um, so this is made of peony scented paraffin wax mixed with organic soy wax. Um, I don't know if you can see this. I'll take pictures of things um, and include them in the post and if I can figure out how to use video editing software, I may find a way to um, edit in photos of these things like in the corner of the screen or something, but I think that would require me to take a breath when I talk. And since I haven't really done that, I don't know that that's going to be possible. Um, it also has um, wildflowers mixed in with it and 100% cotton wick. Um, she also includes a helpful hint at the end that says that um, after you burn this little candle, um, if you have excess wax left over, you can um, kind of scrape it and chop it up and use it in a um, wax melt. Um, or something like that, which is actually a really good idea. Um, on the note of wax melts, I've seen somebody else in the Hatchling Clan on Amino recommend um, putting your wax warmer in the freezer when you're done with it because then it makes it easier to scrape the wax out. Haven't tried that, but just as an FYI, um, I really love how the little wildflowers are like embedded into the top of the wax. I think that's super adorable. Now, on to the bonus item. I think I can light this. Um, I think the bonus item is also like a little wax melt or candle, but I am going to look at it. Oh, by the way, item five, the little viney thing. I think in the future I should just read the guidebook to you. Um, but this is a climbing ivy and fluorite braided fairy charm. So FYI, that is the snazzy official name of this cute little doodad over there. Um, the bonus item is a pomegranate tea tea light candle um, and supposedly has organic soy wax, pomegranate tea, and 100% um, cotton wick. Um, it was made intentionally with the intent for it to be used with um, fairy magic and um, it says that the pomegranate tea was steeped and then mixed with the melted wax until the wax was saturated with as much tea as possible. Um, that's actually really neat. Um, it suggests using it uh, for spring and summer workings and again includes the helpful tent hint that if you have wax left over you can kind of scrape it out or chop it up and put it in a wax melter or wax warmer or whatever you call the hot things that make wax um, smell delicious. So um, this box is actually insanely inexpensive in my opinion for what you're getting. Um, 
It appears that all of these products are handmade by the shop owner. Um, they're packaged really, really carefully. You can tell the shop owner takes a lot of pride in what she does. Um, this is actually not my first purchase from Wickedly Magical. I've purchased a dream interpretation um, as a shop opening special, and I've also purchased a couple sets of gemstone earrings all of which I love, um, and again, if I figure out how to include links, I will link reviews um, to those other products as well. And um, the box, I believe, was only like $10, and the shipping um, was very reasonable. So again, I highly, highly recommend everything in this box, and check the shop out.